This is the start of the Mini Quad Club 1 build. I've uh, unpacked everything and I've gone ahead and done a little bit of prep work. Let me just explain what comes in the kit. We have the four carbon fibre arms, a carbon fibre camera plate for using a board camera. I won't be using that. Uh, we have the top plate and the two base plates. These other parts attached to the base plate don't come with the kit. I'll come back to that in a minute. We have the hardware, it's all steel screws, M3 steel screws, uh, some are plain black, some are zinc plated and, uh, and zinc plated M3 nylock nuts and uh, aluminium standoffs and a few plastic spaces. There's no nylon uh, standoff hardware uh, included in the kit, it's really just the uh, main screws for assembling it and I guess the, uh, the zinc plated ones here for attaching the motors. And uh, just a simple piece of paper referring uh, you to their website where it has a short build video just basically highlighting the, the, the simple bolt together of this. doesn't uh, show a complete build and doesn't show uh, in depth uh, how to attach anything other than the kit or how to build the kit that they supply. So it doesn't show how to attach cameras or anything like that. Now the prep work that I've done is mainly around the, the base plate here. I've taken the Palol, uh, sorry, the uh, uh, Luminaire PDB and attached the 12 volt Pololu to it and uh, I've tried to line that up with the holes in the base plate. The uh, kit uses uh, 30 millimeter uh, spacing between the M3 holes where the uh, Luminaire uses 30.5 so uh, the KISS board also uses 30 I think, so I've actually gone ahead and drilled the holes out to 3.5mm in the PDB which means that my nylon standoffs here or screws come straight through and don't uh, skew out on an angle uh, trying to get through the wider holes or the wider hole spacing. So now everything's nice and neat and slides together. So the nylon kit and everything uh, isn't supplied. Uh, I've uh, mounted the uh, PDB and uh, in a way that I have my little uh, rubber O-rings here and little dampener rings and uh, flight controller will go on top actually not like that, like so and, uh, and then I'll build up my stack from there so already done that little bit of prep work the camera bracket has been attached I won't be using a board cam, I've got the 1177 so the frame has allowance for this in that it has a wide slot here and in the centre it has a larger sort of hole an M, for an M3 screw. They don't supply any of this hardware. This bit, the bracket, comes with the 1177 and I've had to supply the M3 screw and nylock nut here to attach it. So that's screwed down nice and tight. I'll probably pass some hot glue down through the slots here just to ensure that this has a minimal chance of rotating if the nut manages to come loose. So just to show how the stack will go together, I have my PDB, the flight controller, and then I have this little carbon fibre plate which also came from Flyduino uh, with the, where the KISS stuff comes from. Um, it doesn't come with the MQC1 kit, so it's uh, from another supplier. I've already prepared my X4R receiver with the telemetry wire and the uh, the other uh, S bus and power and ground lead here and this is uh, double sided tape to the carbon fibre plate and that will sit like so upside down there still got clearance between the flight controller and the receiver and then the video transmitter will be put in heat shrink and double side tape and some foam or something and that will be stuck to the top of the plate there. So all my electronics will end up in the, the single stack here. The LC filter will uh, we'll find a home here between the PDB and the camera. I'm not sure which orientation yet. That's where that will live. And effectively there's going to be a big area at the back here of vacant space. Now I want to weigh the frame kit. Uh, here it is here, 126 odd grams, 
and then when I add the PDB and a few nylon screws it comes up to 133 grams not including the board camera plate because I'm not using that but I do have the U-shaped 1177 bracket in there because some of the frame kits have an integrated bracket so I think it's only fair that I include the uh, the camera mounting bracket, bracket for those that don't have it and uh, including the PDB in the weight as well with the nylon screws there because some frames like the Alien and the Martian include a PDB as a structural component so just to make it fair comparing all the weights of the frames uh, in an even state I haven't included the supplied motor screws in that weight um, and I won't for any of the other frames either so let's take a look at the the frame numbers first of all the frame cost 100 US dollars plus shipping which um, considering that it's a, a, a very simple design and uh, probably very uh, very straightforward to cut it's um, it's quite an expensive frame for what you get there's no additional hardware um, it's it's very primitive uh, so it seems pretty pricey for what you're getting uh, the frame is uh, the components let's have a look I've taken my uh, vernier calipers it has three millimeter arms it has 1.65 millimeter base plates the two of them there and a two millimeter top plate now a lot of quads will just use 1.5 on the bottom here uh, having 1.65 is 10 percent thicker and uh, I think that's a good thing it should uh, offer a bit of extra strength in the base the top plate being two millimeters is also good a lot of them will only be 1.5 millimeters and considering it only has three rows of standoffs there's no fourth row here like some quads um, that help support the, the battery which will be mounted above it uh, means that the two millimeter plate helps to ensure that uh, there's no flex uh, in this area across here uh, so yeah good quality materials the carbon fiber looks uh, very high quality and the um, and the, the cut and finish on it is impeccable I, no problems with it going together everything lined up well uh, I've got to say it's, it is a very clean cut frame but considering the, the price uh, I'd, I'd hope so because uh, there's no extra bits that come with this and uh, it does seem pretty pricey uh, the flame, frame does have a fair bit of flex probably being 3mm arms and, uh, and these two base plates here with with uh, little support between them um, there's a fair bit of flex in it I'm not overly concerned about it at this point a lot of modern cars are designed that way to flex uh, rather than be rigid but uh, yeah it's uh, something to note now the the uh, stance of it it's uh, 181 millimeters uh, left to right both front and rear left uh, left to right and 134 millimeters uh, between the uh, front and rear to help keep the cabling neat at the front of the quad where the wires came out to the arms I took a small cable tie and passed it through some heat shrink and then slid that over the sides of the u-shaped camera bracket the PDB wiring is now complete out to the ESC's and to the battery pigtail got two sets of header pins on the PDB one for the flight controller and one set to go to the video transmitter and camera after it's passed through the LC filter here here you can see the LC filter hot glued to the base plate uh, under the camera there or behind the camera the flight controller is in place and all connected up uh, to the ESC outputs and note the uh, pigtail at the back and the set of cable ties that help keep the pigtail in the centre of the frame and here we have the video transmitter and receiver now uh, on that final top uh, carbon fibre plate in place so electrics there are complete the MQC1 build is complete everything went, uh, went pretty well unfortunately their fancy laser or uh, CNC cut logo is now covered up by a, a bit of battery foam there um, one thing uh, that did come up during the build is that the slots for the motor screws were actually not machined evenly and I had to use a file just to file out about a, oh, a quarter to a half a millimetre 
out of uh, two holes on every corner to allow the, the screws to go through. So um, whether that was just a, a one-off machining error or whether it's a common error, but uh, yeah, there's no way all four screws were going to go into the, uh, into the motor without uh, some minor modification there. Now, um, for the weight of the unit, it has props on, battery strap, uh, everything, a, a, a lightweight antenna here. Uh, we're going to weigh it uh, in a basically ready to fly minus battery and uh, comes in at uh, 365 odd grams, 364, and then with a 1300 milliamp hour flight battery. 538 grams so that's the all up weight ready to fly